I am the 13th Wolfman, and this is part, this is, let's see, the 1970s, you know, this is the evolution of evil, the 1970s, basically part two. Um, the 1970s was so big that I had to break it up into two parts. In the first part, I really talked about a lot of American films that, that came about in the 1970s, like The Omen. Race with the Devil, The Exorcist, Last House on the Left. But that really only mentions the the movies that were over here, you know, um, in the States. Not saying they weren't around the world, but the ones that originated from here in the States. Uh, in the Also in the 1970s, there was a high, high amount of... We got Italian films introduced to us in the 1960s. But they really took an abundance... In the 1970s, we had Rogerio Deodato, you know, giving us movies like uh, the House by the House by the Edge of the Park, the House on the Edge of the Park. Um, we had Umberto Lenzi giving us movie, giving us movies like a uh, like um, Seven Bloodstained Orchids, which. I guess, you know, isn't really a horror film. It's more, it's more giallo, but, um, it, it always felt horror to me. And Dario Argento, just, you know, the, the man of the macabre, he, he basically took over the 70s in Italy, you know. Um, Bird with Crystal Plumage, Suspiria, Four Flies on Grey Velvet, you know, um, just, it seemed like he was churning out a movie like once every every year, just about. Um, you, Mario Bava was still was still putting out movies in the nineteen seventies. Um, it wouldn't be too long after that he died, like in nineteen eighty. So, you know, he did a uh, like Bay of Blood. Um, what else? Uh, kidnapped are rabid dogs, which are not rabid dog. Was it rabid? Rabid. Um, he did a couple of westerns. You know uh, who else? That there's just there were so many Italian directors and Italian movies that were just coming out. You had Cannibal Ferox, uh, which happened in the '80s, but you had. Um, the Man from Deep River. Uh, I've already said Cannibal Holocaust, but uh, um, the other can there were tons of cannibal movies. They were all over the place. Uh, jungle, uh, Eaten Alive. Like I said, The Man from Deep River. That was another one. Um, just cannibalistic movies were just popping up left and right. Uh, the Ursula Andress movie, um, Slave of the Cannibal God, you know, Goddess of, uh, Goddess of the Cannibal, Love Goddess of the Cannibals, just all over the place. I mean, they, you know, um, it wasn't a cannibal movie, but it was an Italian film, uh, Satan's Baby Doll, which was a very cool film. Fulci, now, you know, we go from, we go from Lenzi to Bava to Argento, now we got Mario, uh, Mario, we got Lucio Fulci, who would give us The House by the Cemetery, The Black Cat, Manhattan Baby, uh, Manhattan Baby was later, but still, I mean, it just, uh, what was the other one, um, the first film that, Uh, something about a duckling. Don't shoot the duckling or something like that. Uh, it was a really weird film. But it's just... Italy was just all over the place in the 1970s when it came to evil. Evil was just being... A, and it was really weird because it was just being thrown upon us. And we were seeing that they were trying to go very primal, you know, with the Italian films. They, they they were just 
they were taking the stuff out of the newspapers and throwing it on the screen, or they were just taking the stuff out of the history books. You know, like I said, cannibalism and and the guys that were doing the other stuff, like um, House on the Edge of the Park and you know House by the Cemetery, they were just taking these real creepy ideas of what what real people would do and just throw them on the screen so that people go so people would get shocked and people were being shocked by this stuff you know um evil evil had a face it wasn't being covered up like in america by uh by you know michael myers and um and leatherface with a with a mask these were the guys that were just they they looked like creeps and they were you know, David Hess just about made a career out of playing every creep. You know, whether it was the movie Last House on the Left, Hitchhike, or The House on the Edge of the Park. You know, so it just seems that when evil was thrown upon us in the 70s, it was, it just it was almost like a splatter fest. In the 70s, we're just crazy in love with with everything you know whether it was demonic or not so um yeah so this is my second part to this um next time i'll be talking about the 80s and hopefully it'll be a little bit more organized than than the 1970s i am the 13th wolfman and i'm on the prowl